to discuss about how you can set the title of your frame okay in the last video session i was discussed about how you can set the size and uh, alignment of your frame but i forgot to explain you about setting the title of your frame okay so that uh, video i am going to cover that concept i am going to cover in this video session okay so you created a frame you set the height and width of your frame you set the alignment of that is position of your frame but uh, what title you have if you want to give if you want to give any of the title to your frame then what method you have to give use that is set title set title is the method which is accepting one string type argument and uh, that string type message is going to set as your title of your frame okay uh, without title i'm showing i'm showing you what output we are getting then i will go show you what title if you will give any title then where it will going to display now let's execute and see what output we are getting okay now in the screen you can see that our frame got created with the specified height and width uh, x coordinate space and y coordinate space it is creating one frame and displaying on the screen okay as part of the set visible method it is displaying on the screen but here in the title you can see that it is not having any of the title okay it is having close up operation close button minimize maximize these three buttons but it is not having any of the title so if you want to give any of the title and if you want to set the image then what are the things you have to do that i'm going to tell okay first i will tell about how you can set the title of your frame so for setting the title of your frame you have to use set title method and uh, in the parameter you have to pass what title you have to give okay i'm giving title as my frame and now click on run button so in this title bar you can see now the frame is having one title that is my frame okay so earlier it was blank right now it is having one name but uh, if you want to uh, this name to be visible in this side then you have to specify the alignment of it that i'm going to cover in next video session okay so it is as it is accepting one string type argument so you can take one string variable also like this string message equal to my frame space semicolon okay now what you have to do is you just need to pass this message string type message and as parameter to this set title method wait for some time now i am going to pass this message now let's run it now in the screen you can see that we have got a frame with the specified title okay so in the program what basically i am doing is i am creating a class with the name my first application which is extending from the jframe class and in the jframe class i was taken one string type variable that is message and i am passing this my frame as the parameter that is the value what i was specified to this uh, string type message variable and uh, inside the get frame method i am calling the different methods of j frame as my class is extending from the j frame class so my class here is acting like a j frame so whatever the methods is present in j frame that i can directly access from this class so for this reason i am calling the method directly without any object or reference variable of j frame class okay so set visible method is used to display the j frame and set default close operation method is used to close the j frame normally when you click on close button set bounds method as i have already discussed in the earlier video session to specify the site uh, size of your frame and uh, x coordinate y coordinate alignment of your frame all those things and now i discussed about set title method how you can set the title of your frame okay in the in this video session i didn't cover that how you can set the title in the left hand side all those things but i am going to cover in soon okay don't worry and uh, in the main method what i was doing is i was just creating anonymous object that is my frame class uh, my frame first application class object and calling the get frame method so in the coming video session i'm going to discuss about more and more functions or methods of uh, the frame and other components okay for this you need to stay tuned with our channel for this you need to subscribe to my channel and uh, if you will like this video then please do subscribe to my channel and keep sharing with your friends thanks for watching take care